Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your first half of December 2023 tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Tell you what resonates for you. So we have attachment energy. This is the energy deck, uh, number five, for those of you who like the numbers. Attachment is when we when we're attached to a person, place, situation, it might be holding us back. We're wondering whether we want to stay attached or whether we want to break free. Is it serving us? Sometimes it stifles our growth as well. So let's see what we have with that kind of energy. I'm going to pull you an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. So let's see what we have for Leo. Thank you. First half of December. 2023 for Leo. We have Druid, hold the space. So let's see what we have with that. Hold things together. Don't make any sudden moves or changes. Stand strong, knowing you, knowing you are where you are supposed to be. When the Druid card appears in a reading, you're being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you're wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perceptions and move back into a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. It has strong roots, yet continues to grow and bear fruits. Your life will be a reflection of this. All right, Leo, let's see what we have with the cards for you. Message for Leo, message for Leo. Message for Leo, thank you. There's a sense of uh, unwavering about this, you know, just be unwavering. So we have the Nine of Wands, which the Nine of Wands can actually be when we're close to the end of something. It's actually one step away, but really with this kind of energy, we don't realize that, you know, we kind of think, do I want to continue? Shall I keep on persevering? Or do I just throw in the towel and walk away? This can be that kind of energy. It's sometimes called the wounded warrior that we always feel, you know, we can't see the end in sight, but actually you're being told with the nine of wands, the end is closer than you realize. It's about keep on pushing, keep on persevering, keep on moving forward in a scenario here because the end is closer than you think. You're actually just one step away. We have the Five of Swords, the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles, The Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, we have an Emperor here, and the Hermit. Let's see what we have with the Nine of Wands. Message for Leo, Nine of Wands energy. Queen of Wands, which can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. You could be dealing with fire sign as well, male or female. And we have the Death card. 
Feels like, uh, again, this is a card of endings. Or getting to the end of something. One more card with that. King of Pentacles. As an energy, the King of Pentacles can be linked with money. Uh, very good in terms of financial stability, security. That could be a focus here. I feel that like you're dealing with an ending or you've dealt with an ending of some kind here, Leo. And it looks like I'm really getting this sense of wanting that sense of financial security and stability because you want to break free of the thing that you're dealing with this break free of a a kind of like situation that you just want to be rid of get away from move on from that attachment energy it feels is to do with the thing that has tested you uh, the nine of wands could be getting a job you know um looks like there's been there's an ending that you've been dealing with but i like seeing the queen of wands in this reading because queen of wands and I, this is likely you queen of wands energy is somebody who is go getting driven so there's there's a real kind of energy here of remembering who you are because she is kind of like a warrior queen energy as well male or female in this reading but this is somebody who doesn't give up, who's not defeatist, who is successful because they go for what they want and generally kind of like have a way to get it. You know, they're very good in terms of setting their sights on something and then just instinctively taking action. It doesn't really matter whether there's fear or doubt or anxiety or obstacle obstacles, you know, uh, in the way of this situation. This is about taking action, doing what feels right, instinctively taking action because it's time because uh, that's what the circumstances demand courage bravery uh, confidence driven go-getting energy to get you through i mean that can be the energy here i feel that there's an ending that you're dealing with you just want to be free of it now leo the nine of wands can be uh, get, the reason why you're tested can be a number of scenarios it could well be you've been tested to find employment again you could have been trying to again making your own business work and it, you know it's, it's ending so you're trying to find a job for others of you it can be where you're tested in terms of some health issue whether that's for you or somebody else in your life that you have had to, that's affected your employment in some way the same message applies it is the energy here of, of it's always darkest before the dawn, but actually you're one step away from what looks like victory, success, triumph here. Because, again, the Hierophant have faith that victory is coming your way. You overcome the challenge that you face and put it behind you. Again, the Five of Swords is also linked with a hard-won victory. And again, with the Knight of Cups, this could well be somebody supporting you. That could be financial support. It could also be uh, you're being supported emotionally, you know, through this time, emotionally, financially, to kind of like, uh, this kind of like feels like that sense of encouragement. This is, you, you're going to get there, you know, you're going to be victorious. Don't worry, you're going to get there. Keep on going. Um, and same with this kind of energy. Now, you could be doing this with somebody else as well. You could be offering that Knight of Cups with somebody else. You might be supporting somebody else who, where, where this has ended as well. You know, something's ended. So let's see what we have. Five of Swords, Knight of Cups. The Nine of Cups, you're going to get your wish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the nine, this is someone really saying to you, don't worry, you're going to get there. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get your wish. Keep going. With that, the Fool. A Fool is a card of, of um, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance, carving out a brand new beginning for yourself. 
it feels like there's something new that you might have set, set your sights on that you really want, that is a new beginning for you. And again, this just feels like that sense of fear. You might be competing, fierce competition. Um, it just feels that kind of energy. Because really this is, you know, you're going to get it and you can liberate from everything that's gone before. The, the load gets lighter. I mean, it's that kind of energy. Clarify the Hierophant and the Six of Wands. Have faith. You might discover your faith in this time. It can also be spirit working through people to bring you what you need. There's a sense of earthly support uh, with this kind of energy. It can be in the form of a mentor, a teacher, someone guiding you. Uh, but generally the Hierophant is somebody who could be working through the situation to bring you answered prayers in some way. With the Six of Wands, it's a card of, again, victory, triumph, success. Yeah, the cards on the table. I mean, <laughs> Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords. Someone bringing you news that there's going to be a victory. This is the energy. Uh, Queen of Swords could be somebody who's bringing you news. Knight of Swords represents conversations, communications, bringing a clear way forward here for you. The Ace of Swords, a hard one victory, triumph, success that marks a new beginning. I mean, this is the energy here, Leo. This is have faith. What's kind of like, you know, supporting, what's driving that as an overarching energy is the Hierophant. You know, have faith that this is going to come about. Someone's going to bring you news that you are successful here. Let's pull a card for the Hermit. Healing, recovery, finding the way forward in this situation can also be somebody who might be offering you sage advice in some way. Also, like I said, this could also be very positive in terms of healing, getting back into work after some kind of health issue where you, uh, things had to end that affected your money, career, finances. And again, you can finally find a way back into work. The Hermit, thank you. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. You just know deep down, you know this is your path to recovery. The Nine of Pentacles is uh, reaping the fruits of your labor, getting what you deserve. Uh, it's, it's a great money card. They're standing on your own two feet in your own abundance, uh, which, you know, leading to this point, maybe you didn't have that, you know, maybe you were supported by somebody else. So, you know, this can this can be a very positive sign here that... Uh, change is happening where there is material financial success, abundance coming you, your way. And the hard work, the effort, uh, that approach of um, whatever it takes, you know, I'm going to claim a victory over this situation and break free of it, is the energy here. The Emperor and uh, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody making you an offer. The Emperor can be very positive in terms of business, career and finances. It can be a key person of influence. It can be a CEO, MD, owner of a company. It can be somebody who commands incredible influence as well. Their decision is the final one. The Knight of Pentacles is someone making you an offer. Now that can be in terms of jobs, business opportunities. It can also be linked. I mean, if this was a process in other ways, Leo, Again, when you were where you were kind of like in conflict or battle uh, and you just want to liberate from the whole thing and you might be, you know, having faith that you're going to get news and it looks like that's going to be coming in. Uh, this can be like uh, a key decision maker in other areas of life. Somebody in authority, somebody in charge could be a judge in a legal situ situation that was not limited to that. Can be arbitration, negotiation of that kind of thing as well. Um, but it can be somebody in authority bringing you a sum of money. So whatever this process is that you're kind of like battling for victory, success, triumph, this is the energy that I'm seeing for you. 
but it comes after some kind of ending. But really these energies are all about out of the old in with the new and you are in that process. This is the process that you're going through. It is deep transformation, but you are going to, you, you are emerging in victory. Uh, you're emerging in success. What you set out to do, there is that sense of achievement coming your way. You're getting your wish. Um, so this is, you're lightening the load, liberating from it all, you know, carving out a brand new path for yourself. However that manifests for you here, Leo, you're just being told, hold the space. The thing that you're wanting to break free of, the thing that you're wanting to be done with, you can finally kind of like put it behind you. I feel in the next couple of weeks, it looks like there is that sense of having faith that you're one step away. But, so it might well be a bit longer than, than two weeks here, but you're not far. Then there will be more action to take here, uh, but you're actually only one step away from the finish line here. So it feels like one final push, uh, change is, is nearly there and then you're done with this whole process. But there is, again, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of abundance, material success, standing on your own two feet. So this is the energy here. Of, again, this King of Pentacles could be some the person who's involved in bringing you the offer of some kind, involved in this process. Can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, but not limited to that. King of Pentacles would be somebody who is generally solid, stable, but again, this can be the energy that you're trying to manifest as well. Uh, you, you're wanting that. You're wanting to manifest money. You're wanting to manifest stability, security, and success for yourself. And actually, these energies combined are very, very positive, um, grounded, having the practical resources and abilities and the empowered action to make it happen is the energy. So that's why you're being told: hold the space, don't waver you know, stand firm, be who you are, remember who you are. Because sometimes we forget that with the Nine of Wands and Queen of Pentacles, this is sometimes when we say, no, I am not going to be defeatist. I'm going to remember who I am, you know, and remember that, yes, a little bit more perseverance is needed, but you're really being told, be who you are, face the thing head on, take action. Um, because you're literally one, one final wander away from completion of this. All right, Leo, let's see what we have for you as a final message. Yeah, nice, we have light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Seeing the light. And I, I see that in the reading. With come together, fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team can help get the job done. And again, you might have people around you supporting you. And again, this could be a process where you might be supporting somebody else as well. But the same message really does apply. There is a sense of coming together. Coming together can sometimes be that sense of celebration, joy and happiness, but also support. That's what I have for you, Leo, for the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful first half of December. I will see you next time.